welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. I know I promised y'all ground fishing, but I was gonna go yesterday and kind of got thwarted. I had some help come work the morning and I couldn't go. And then I had, we had a rainstorm yesterday evening. So guess what? Water levels back all up. So ground fishing gonna be out for a few days anyway. So we're going to see if we can catch some white perch. It's cool this morning. And when I say cool, it ain't cool, but it's, you know, cooler than it has been. So we got our jig pole, and we have got old Roscoe in the boat with us. We may get him a, some kind of a cushion or something that's waterproof to lay on up there. But I'm just going to... I got two jig poles and I'm gonna rig them up and it's good and calm today. Y'all see that water just as calm as you can ask for for a morning. So we got an hour or two probably we can fish. We're gonna see if we can catch any white perch. Now I do, do already feel the wind breeze are coming so it's not gonna stay calm like this long. I'll just be honest with you, it just ain't gonna happen. And it never does. <laughs> it's all right, though. We'll fight it. I've fought, fought a hurricane before while I was trying to fish. Uh, poured me a cup of coffee here. We ain't, we ain't doing real smoky so far. Y'all, the last few times I've been trying to get some fishing videos, I ain't caught nothing. But now when it gets hot in the summer here, it's hard to catch anything other than grunnel or brim and i ain't crazy about brim i i just don't like scaling them makes a mess in my skinning shed I have to sweep all them scales up and i just don't like worrying with them y'all what I'm gonna do I'm gonna change over I put my blue ice back on and I'm gonna put one of these niblets on here y'all don't be cheating with them do you <laughs> ain't that cheating mm -hmm. oh Happy time. around this thing so I got over here in a situation and got tied off to it where our wind starts to blow and uh, we pretty stable it'll probably be a minute before they go back to biting because I done bumped around and knocked and banged here trying to get tied up we're gonna put another one of these good measure niblets on there I know y'all couldn't see what I was doing there, but we done got fixed up like that right there. Let's, let's see if we can put a number on them right here, right quick. Let's see. Ooh, boy, he nailed it, and I missed him, y'all. 
He nailed it and I missed it. this time y'all ah. hard to flip these things in there I ain't much for keeping bass but since we were planning on cooking fish he's going in the cooler y'all they, they just ain't gonna bite without these things you'd have thought I'd have done figured that out but I'm too hard-headed to give in. I kept thinking, man, I can save them. I won't use them. I don't want to use them. I'm gonna have them. And I don't think it really matters which kind to use. This right here, that's them Berkeley. Oh, there we go. That's a crappie. Y'all, these ain't, these ain't just good fish. In fact, normally I'd put that in the back, but uh, I'm planning on cooking, so I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be a little bit stingy with them. Y'all know what stingy is? Well, they may not be tearing it up, but we're gonna sit here in the peace and the quiet. And we're gonna drink some good coffee. Woo, woo, woo. Don't be a leaning over in the boat. It, it will move on you. And it'll, it'll scare you. Scare you a mite. slack out where I can get my, get him over here to me now that's a pretty decent one he ain't no giant but oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah We're going to stank up at grease before it's over with, y'all. Just sure as I'm sitting here. They ain't been easy now. And they ain't, they ain't just tearing it up. But it's here and there and yonder you get one. It's better than working. I was sitting here thinking about it. It's middle Wednesday. I'm sitting here with a boat fishing. All them, I just had a bite right there. I mean, and he took my bait. He took my bait. I mean, I ain't no more get it back in the water. I'm gonna have to leave the lid off, I reckon. Still gone. I'm stingy with these niblets. Like, we call them niblets, and I don't know what y'all call them. We call them crappie niblets. But uh, I was sitting here thinking about all them people are having to work. And I just got it made right here in the shade. But now I'm broke as a joke. <laughs> That's the thing you got to consider. If you want to do what you want to, you got to not mind being broke. And I'll be honest with y'all, I got more pottery than I can get made. We got orders piling in, and I just wanted to go fishing. And that's the beauty of it. When you'd want to go, you just throw everything down and go, because... Got my little old mini reel out and started throwing it over there. That might be the ticket there now. He's, 
He's, and I got a different bait on it too. I don't know which one made the most difference. Cause he, he, uh, he inhaled that now. Good low. That's a little better fish too. Let's see here. Yeah. We're gonna have to dig down and get pliers. I don't like to. Okay, I got it. Yeah, y'all. That is a little bit better fish. Ah, we're gonna try that again right across there. And if we figured something out, this is my favorite way to fish is to throw this little old mini rod and uh, reel it slow. Yeah, look at him. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Nope. That is going to be that pier that's under there that broke off at walkway part. I'm finna lose that bait. Yep. Yep. Let's break it on off. Well, sir. That's the bad part about it. Well. Y'all would want to see me tie on another bait anyway, wouldn't you? I got them down here in, my, in the floor. All my stuff down here. So, I'm gonna, I'll tell you though what I'm gonna do. What I'm, what, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use one of these that I already got fixed up. And that one's got a little heavier jig head on there. I tie a loop knot on these, y'all. Well, y'all, my eyes is getting bad, I think. And I tell y'all what I think's doing it. It's these blasted cell phones we staring at. Call me crazy. I'm sure my age ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm sure y'all probably couldn't tell. I hooked that back on there. Basically all I done was tied me a square knot in three loops. Cinch it up. That's a little bit longer than I like on the loop. Oh, y'all, we got a fish. We got, let me throw all this mess down. Turn around over here, y'all. Look at him. Well... And we missed him fumbling with the camera. Y'all, I'm telling you the truth. Now, why couldn't he get on there when I wasn't trying to tie a bait on there when I could catch him? I had the camera where it needed to be. Boy, boy, boy. Come on, right there in the... Well, that's all right. We're going to get him in the cooler. 
we we may be we may be on to something right here, y'all. It's it's just be the one they they like, and we don't had to. I'll be honest with y'all. I lost two while y'all wasn't looking over. Look at there, y'all. Look at there. I mean, I threw it. Got a nothing right there off. Oh man, that's a bass. Oh, look at him. We're going to turn him loose. I ain't too big on bass. We start to catch a few fish. I knew I threwed it close to that. Oh. I knew I threwed it close to that bank over there. I'll turn y'all around and let y'all see. I can't catch him right over there next to that bank. I had to watch, there's something down there under the water that I had to be real careful about. But that's what they around, see? Boom, we got another right there, y'all. Let me turn y'all around. Let's see if we can get him up. Well, he's come on over here on me. There we go. I finally get the camera on him here in a minute, y'all. I'll fool around now and lose him on a... Y'all, I am going to have to invest in me some kind of good mounting system for a camera for this canoe where I can just move that thing all around. I am fixing to go to work on designing me something. I'll have to make it myself order me some parts to come up with a design because I need something that I can just move around and push it in and out and it be quick. It's got to work quick because like right there I'm looking at me hanging a fish out yonder and I want to show y'all him a splashing in the water and all that and make a video look real good and I can't get the dead plane camera on him. <laughs> anyway, let's catch us another. See if we can catch one while we got the camera pointed that way. Now I'll probably fool around now and get hung up. Let's see. Oh, there he is, y'all. There he is. We got it. Look at there. <laughs> Look at there. Y'all, they ain't far from the bank up here. I don't know. That's a good one, too. That is a pretty good crappie. But see, here, here's what I'm talking about, y'all. I want to try to turn that where y'all can see what's going on. And I can't get the, I can't get the camera to act right with me. Get a hold to it. Somebody tell me what kind of camera mounting deal I need to do. We'll do whatever we got to do. To get this camera mounted up. Y'all, that is what we are. That's what they like right there. I'm finna put one on this other uh other pole for a minute here. I hope Roscoe don't knock that off in there. I got an old ugly one on here. Let me. Well, after I had to go get my bait and stir in that water and bump what we call knock and bang around. I've scared them all off. So I imagine I will to sit right here and drink another cup of coffee and let things settle down before I attempt to fish much. I'm sure I'll wind up a hung back up over here. fixing to tie on a different bait here. They hitting it seems like now the faster I reel it. And I like these little paddle tail baits for reeling, but now I do not tie these on with a loop knot, and I'm gonna tell you why. That's why I'm showing you tying this and on. I tie that knot that I, what I call a fisherman's knot. It was in an old, I've showed y'all this a lot before, but some of you may be new. Well, this is what I tie most all of my bass fishing lures and stuff like that on with. It's kind of a cinch knot, but you 
you, you, you loop through and then twist it up and then take your tag in and go back through your loop right above the eye and your hook and then come back through the loop you just made that cinches down. And the reason is, is because on this little old eye right here, they ain't all of them. This one seems to be closed up better than one. No, there's a gap in there. And with that gap and this little old number four or four pound test line, y'all, it'll, uh, it'll go through there and you'll lose them. But this is, this is what I just put on there. I like these. These are the one eighth ounce, uh, two inch. And I have caught a bunch of crappie with these on this reeling them. You know, when you, when you casting and reeling with this mini rod, and y'all, this mini rod is what I like to fish with now. But it don't drop down in the water, seem like, as far as some of those baits, because of that paddle tail's got some drag to it, and it gets you a lot of attention. So, I'm just going to see. And that pearl white color, they may not like. I don't know. It, it's not what I've been catching them on. I've been catching them on that red bait. I done got them. Some kind of a tangle on the line. I think it come out though. There he is. Look at there, y'all. Hung him right there on camera with y'all. Look at him. Let's flip him on in here. And it's a major ordeal. I mean to get the camera turned back around. Find him, he done flopped, come off, flopped up under the seat. Y'all see, these ain't giant crappie. But like I say, sometimes they crappie nonetheless. In the ice box he goes. Y'all call a cooler an ice box. Oh, Lord, y'all, look at this. I'm having trouble with my line. Now. I don't, I'm gonna have to fix. I'm going to have, oh, Lord. I've been fishing with this fool of line for a year. And, uh, what in the world? I ain't got a knot tied in it. Look at him. Y'all see that? Boy, boy, boy. Your Lord knows how to keep you humble. He said, that old boy done got to thinking he is doing all that on his own. Yeah, I'll show him. Yeah. I don't know how. I can tie knots to, to catch fish and they'll come undone and, and the bait will fall off, but I can just be a fishing and that line will tie its own knot. And I wonder how in the world did it do that? Ah, oh, got it. I got it. Let me pull all that tight. You don't want all that mess. Mm, no sir, read Bobby. Now we got it. We first thing got to do is tangle it all around that camera. If you don't do that, you ain't doing nothing. We probably fixing to call it because I need to go to work. Fella can't fish all day, you know what I mean. But we've had a good time, y'all. We caught a few fish. And I just had another bite. I'm, I mean, I just had another bite. You just hold up. We ain't we ain't gonna quit just quiet yet. Mm, that ain't that ain't crappy. That is probably brim I'm nibbling at it. Them little old bitty brim. It ain't fit to eat but nothing else. And we ain't gonna blow me right up here on this bank. I'd like to catch one of them just to see if it would bring them. I'm going to blow up here in these water models. We might hang another little old bass down through there. Y'all, I ain't going to be able to do nothing with no very much of a bass on this. Oh, he just took off out from that grass. I'm going to be hung one of them about three-pound bass on this little old paddle tail jig and four-pound test line. And I'll have to, what, 
what Jerry Clower said worry him down. <laughs> I gotta get out of these water moccasins. But anyway, y'all, thank you for watching Spirited Outdoors. We just did a little bit of fishing out here, having a little bit of fun, and uh, I hope y'all somewhat enjoyed it. Uh, so anyway, appreciate everything y'all do for us, watching our videos. We got, it's about to get the time of year I like to fish, so we're going to be doing a little more fishing. It's cooling down a little bit, and it's still hot. You know, it, by all means, it ain't cool. But thank y'all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Remember, the best way to do things, the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all. Y'all have a good one.